Hey, welcome to Give Me Apps, your app mall, the number one independent app store. Today we're checking out Aut Wii. This is for the iOS and Android platforms. That'll be for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. This is by John Salter. You might be in a situation where you or your organization needs to make a pertinent decision and needs to correct the right tool to help you get over the goal line. Well, Aut Wii promises to do that and not just do that, but do it better. The old joke is, but does it make coffee? <laughs> this app is not looking to solve the world's problems with a big and complex corporate app. It's a small tool looking to stimulate conversations between people by encouraging them to ask the right questions. Now, what makes this app pop? It has a proprietary engine driven by AI. Aut we uses a risk-based approach, which lets the user weigh the criteria they tailor to reflect what they care about. By the way, you should know that the app can be customized. It is a paint app, but it is worth what you pay for it. Let's take a look at the main um, screen here. You can see it says recent decisions. Now, what's great about Ortwe is that it comes with a very comprehensive tutorial. We're going to go through that tutorial here on or in this interview so you can see how the app works. Here's your title card. Welcome to Ortwe. You see the second screen here. Uh, three integrated elements of Ortwe establish context, assess options, and implement plans. We're going to move on. You see here how it starts. You need to name or title and describe the context of this particular decision. So you're going to more or less title your decision or title your question, your query. From there, you're going to move on to the next screen. This pops up. Here, you're going to add your options. So as an example, this gives you an example here. It says, select a new place to live in, two bedroom unit, flat or apartment, three bedroom house or caravan. So you have your options there. We're going to move on. From there, you are going to name and describe the criteria to be applied, and you're going to include the weighting rationale. More on that later. On the next screen, it says here, score each option against each of the criteria, including a succinct rationale for the evaluation. We're going to show you this as we go through the process, but we thought it would be very helpful to show you the process so you can see what's involved and what the outcome will be in terms of the deliverable to you. You even get a nice graph at the end. And take a look here. That's the seventh screen. Here's the eighth screen. And here you go. Plans should be focused on action. There's the conversation with you, you and yourself, or you and your staff, you and your organization. And here we go, guys. Take a look at the reports. Now, you can have the uh, process printed out in a PDF, which will be very useful to you and or your organization. All right, we're done watching this. We're going to get out of here now and show you how this works. Now, you can see one of the decisions that we arrived to um, based on something that we set up ourselves. And we asked a very simple question, which beverages should we serve? Let's walk through that very quickly. Take a look here. When we did this, we added the options of tea and coffee. You can see that there are nine criteria. Now, I want to make this clear. The app is stocked with eight, but you can add or get rid of as many criteria as you would like to do. All right, so we're going to continue. Now, take a look here at the criteria. We have the cost effectiveness. Should it be quickly implemented? The ongoing effect. Risk reduction. Administrative ease. Can this option be easily administered or will its application be ineffective because of the difficulty of administration or a lack of expertise? And you can see that uh, when we say weighted, you have the scale of minus VE and plus VE, positive VE. And you can see the scores that we rated each criteria achieves objectives. To what extent does this option potentially achieve the required objectives? And we added likability, all right? And in this specific scenario, it says here, based on water cooler discussions, which do you believe people will generally like? Now, this was a fake scenario, but nonetheless, it was us testing out the app, which is pretty cool. Now, once you're done with this, of course, we did mention that you can print out a PDF. Now, take a look here. Now, we're just going through the scenario that we set up. Score each option for cost effectiveness. Now we have low, one, up to high. So low, medium, high. And you can move this along the scale. All right. And we selected, I believe, three for tea. And for coffee, we selected five. All right. Now take a look at all the criteria here. Score each option for quickly implemented. Score each option for ongoing effect. So there, within the criteria, uh, there are many ways that you can weight or rate those criterion. All right, so we're going to get out of here. Now, once you have that, you have your graph view. Take a look at that. And it's drawing it in real time. Pretty cool. Notice uh, we have our coffee with the ongoing effect, the risk creation, 
and the likability is really high. All right. And so you have your list view as well. Take a look at that. We can do our list view. Take a look at that right there. So you get a nice bar graph instead of the line graph that we saw previously. All right. Implementation selection. You have your T and these are the weighted scores. We're going to go over to the next and take a look at the reports. You have your decision, decision description, criteria name, description, and from there you can create the PDF. And that PDF gets saved to your device. Now, mind you, we're doing this on an iPad mini, but this app is also available for Android. And of course, you can use it on your iPhone or iPod Touch. We chose the iPad because of the screen real estate. Now, you can download that PDF. It'll go straight to your device. Now, you can go home or check out the tutorial again. Now, just to show you how this works, we're already over uh, five minutes into this overview. We're going to uh, create a scenario right here on camera for you. All right, you can even search through recent decisions as you can see here. Uh, you have a tip, once a decision is entered, tap on the decision's light blue area to enter options. And that's what we did at the start of this overview. So we're gonna come up with a very generic question. Um, let's say something like, um, this is pretty easy, Samsung or Apple. <laughs> now we're making this up as we go along. So we do appreciate your patience. Or we should say something like, we'll, we'll propose it as if this were the workplace. Should we purchase, and we're typing this directly into the screen, should we purchase Android or iOS devices? This is a long question, but it makes sense for this overview. For the staff, we're going to say that for the staff. So that's our question, all right? We're going to use this app to help us make a decision. Now, the description. Clearly clarify, sorry, clarify context. Describe the need for this decision. Consider what the purpose of this decision is. So we want our staff. Now we're going to frame this question and you're going to see where this goes. We want our staff to have flexible devices. Let's say that. This is just for this scenario here. So we're going to say flexible devices. Okay, you can see where this one is going. Um, once we're done, we can get rid of the keyboard there and we can tap on done. All right. Now, as you can see, that has now shown up in our recent decisions. Now we can click on the light blue area. We have no options yet, as you can see. So we're going to add some options. So we're going to say um, iOS or iPhone. We'll just put iOS. Okay, and we'll say Apple devices. Now we should be a bit more descriptive, but we don't want this a video to be too long. So there we are. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the keyboard. Rationale. Okay, we'll just say um, popular and attractive. We'll say that. Or we could say identifiable. All right, we'll go with that. All right, and we'll get rid of this and we're going to tap on done. So that's going to be one of our options there. All right, and we're going to add one more option. We'll say Android. Okay, and we will say um, many compatible devices or many devices have Android. Now, we know this video is going to go pretty long, but we really want to show you how to use the app. Have Android as its operating system. So we'll put the giant OS. All right, and they'll get rid of the keyboard. And uh, that should have been the rationale, actually. But we'll just say um, easily, or we, should, we could say um, found everywhere. We're just going to put that in here to speed this along. All right, you would be more descriptive. And of course, mind you, in this scenario, we're really asking ourselves the question. Um, with your organization, you would have more of a conversation uh, around this. So we're gonna tap on done, and we have the criteria now. We're gonna leave the criteria as is, but take a look, cost effectiveness, quickly implemented, ongoing effect, risk reduction. These uh, criteria can apply to pretty much anything. And we also have, we didn't add likability, but we're gonna add it here also. So the stock number of criterion was gonna be eight. We're going to put um, likability. We'll put that in one more time. All right, we'll just put that in there. 
And uh, we're going to say, uh, will the staff warm up to this? Now, of course, if this were um, in real life, you'd probably get a lot of different opinions. I'm sure you guys are seeing stuff at the screen right now. Uh, and we're going to say, um, uh, will the staff like this? Or will the staff be happy? Uh, we, we, we could say, um, will this provide flexibility for the staff? Or will the staff um, have a learning curve. We'll make this a little more realistic. Or I should have said, would there be a learning curve? Will there be a learning curve? We're going to get rid of that just to have this here. All right, we're going to tap on done. All right, we're over 10 minutes now, but we're really showing you this in action, okay? So now that we have all of these here, you can see likabilities on the bottom over there, all right? And we can weigh these out. Let's just do this quickly. Cost effectiveness, we'll go with, uh, well, we'll continue on. How about that? All right, score each option for cost effectiveness. All right, so now here's where the, the real stuff happens here, okay? Uh, we could have set up the weights, but we're gonna move this along because we're a, a little over 11 minutes now. But cost effectiveness, let's say that iOS is gonna be really high. We know that we have the, um, you know, the iPhone SE, but for all intents and purposes, we'll go with this. We'll say that here we go with um, low. Well, we'll go with medium and we'll go with high, all right? And we can go with quickly implemented. We'll assume we can get Android a lot faster. So we'll say this, and we'll leave this on two. Um, ongoing effect. Now we're gonna just behave as if, just the fact that you can access data really easily with any Android um, device, if you have Windows PCs as an example, we'll go with high, all right? Now we don't want this to go on too long. We're approaching 12 minutes here. Uh, we're over 12 minutes now, but you would set up uh, or evaluate the options for all of these different categories here. Risk reduction, and we're gonna go with likability because we added that ourselves, okay? And we're gonna go with iOS, we'll say medium, and we'll say Android will be high, okay? Because Android has most of the market share. So now that we have that, we can look at the graph view if we wanted to do that. Take a look here. Look at that! So iOS, of course, is low, and we have uh, cost effectiveness really high over there for Android. We can always look at the list view. We did that earlier. Take a look at that, okay? So Android is way up there and iOS is down there. Now we can create the PDF and access that later. And it's going to download all PDF files saved in your downloads folder, right? We can click on or tap on download and we'll have our report. So guys, we walked you through the process of how to use this app. This app uses AI, a proprietary uh, expert engine to help you calculate uh, the best decision uh, based on weighing risks. All right, so with that in mind, guys, Aunt We works. It is a simple tool. Though this video went long, we really wanted to go way beneath the surface so we can show you how to set this app up, how to use it, and understand all of its features, and also introduce you to the tutorial. The app does cost, um, and it's not that expensive. Do check it out. Um, let us know what you think about this app. Would you use this app with your organization? And let us uh, know your opinions on the workflow, the interface. Uh, developers typically read the comments on our videos, so uh, either leave comments for them to read and the viewers, or reach out to them yourself and let them know what you think about their app. Now, here's what you need to know. To run this app, you need um, iOS 9.0 or later. So, later. so pretty much any device within the last, I wanna say six years, can run Aut We. Nice job by allowing compatibility to range over different generations of iOS devices. It is also compatible with Android, we mentioned that before. And uh, guys, we like the app. Let us know what you think about it. Create a response video of you using the app. And you are on the Give Me Apps YouTube channel. Give Me Apps is the world's number one independent app store. You can download apps for any platform, iOS or Android, you name it, you'll find it on Give Me Apps. Also, if you're a developer, we're the only app store on the planet where you can keep the full 100% of your download profits. No app store anywhere lets you do that. Guys, once again, this is Aunt We by John Salter. Let him know what you think of the app. Um, and use it yourself. Use it with your organization. It will spark up a lot of conversation. In uh, many office meetings, we talk about smart goals, and uh, this will be a fine tool to use um, when considering that. 
Guys, we hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. Till next time. <laughs>